commonality quiz rather than just a, a straight sweepstakes is that if people like the result that they get back, they then share it to their wall and they share it to, or their Twitter, whichever they prefer. And we saw a huge uptake in this, that the funnier, the, the, the funnier we could be, the more likely it was that people um, then shared it on their wall. Because think of it, when you enter a contest, you don't necessarily want to tell everybody else about the contest you just entered, right? But if you entered a contest that gave you a personality quiz and you're like, oh, look at me, I'm an urban escapist, <laughs> you're going to share it. In fact, over 12% of the um, entries from the contest came from people sharing it on their network, so we felt really good about tapping into uh, the other network of people that we were getting there. Um, one thing that I'll point out that I also like about these light-gated contests, and which I think um, came up in the, in the session right before this, was that you are able to collect email addresses for future marketing purposes, which I think is super, super useful and important, and I always point that out to the chief marketing officers that you, know, you were going to have email addresses that you probably didn't have on your Facebook site already that then you can market to them in the future. So I'm a big fan of personality quizzes as long as you can be funny. Um, the thing that we always do with the contest as well though is I really do suggest that you layer on a level of Facebook advertising with it um, because you want to tap into another network of people. Um, we are seeing across every single brand, whether it's travel or not, any kind of contest that we're running, uh, that sponsored posts are perform way better than your traditional um, ad campaign. Um, the numbers are just are kind of off the charts. So this is the post where you are putting up something, uh, and I gave you an example here, you're putting it, in, it looks like a post that's on your wall, and then you're running an ad campaign that's a sponsored post around that, um, around exactly that, um, that's on your wall, like, like a regular post that you're doing on your wall. And for some reason, those are performing much better. I'm anticipating that the reason why that is is because it shows up in people's mobile browser in a different way than your advertising um, might only reach them when they're sitting at their desktop. And over half of consumers now are, are reaching Facebook on their mobile devices. So sponsored posts are a good way of making sure that you're showing up in everyone's um, mobile feed. Uh, I also like photo contests. Um, the, the challenge that we have with a lot of the hotels and resorts um, that we have, um, that we manage through Facebook sites, is that we never have enough photos. Um, and it's a challenge for the hotels to actually go out and get as much photos as we, as we want. Um, so we started running a whole series of photo contests where fans could actually send us their photos from vac vacation when they were with us. Um, and give us the rights to use those photos um, on future posts. So I really like these contests because it's an easy way for you to secure a lot of new content for yourself that you can then post on your wall. Um, I like this app called Vodigo. Um, again, the reason why I like it, it's low cost, it's very scalable. Um, there's lots of different price points for it. So if you're a small hotel, you can use it. If you're, really, if you're a really big brand and you need to do something really special, you can do that as well. Again, it's light gated, you collect email. Um, one thing I like about photo contests in particular is that you can set it up to have a round of voting around it. So you choose five finalists, and then all of those people who are finalists, or you can choose 10, or you can choose 15, however many you want, they're all incentivized and then tell their friends to come to the site to vote on the, um, on the photo to be the winning photo so that they win something from you. So you're acquiring all of those additional uh, uh, fans as well, because remember, it's like data. Um, I will give you, I, I lied, and I said I was not going to give you any engagement techniques, but I would be remiss if I didn't because some of these um, are coming up recently uh, with the way Facebook has changed their algorithm in August of this year. Um, so, photos receive double the engagement levels than text posts. And that is from Facebook's own internal study. So it's mandatory for my teams who are working with hotels and brands that every single post that they put up now has to have a photo in it because you will get more engagement. Think about it. You're walking around, you're on your iPhone, that's where you're looking, or your Android device, that's what you're looking at, and you are looking at that beautiful photo, that's what's engaging you on the screen, not the text that you're doing. Posts with 80 characters or less receive 27% higher engagement. Notice that this post is really, really short. I've seen lots of posts that go on and go on and go on at length, and I say, put that on a Facebook note and put a link to it. Do not go on at length on your Facebook post. Again, think of yourself when you're looking at it. Um, ask for the engagement. It's okay to ask for liking, asking for